Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and I'm still working on Sketch Timber as we're still in the month of September, which is sketch stuff every day. And currently, I'm just working on tales for mermaid ideas and all kinds of things. So I have sort of a reference sketchbook library of ideas for when I feel burned out or I feel like I've done one design too many times and I just need to try something else. But today I kind of wanted to talk <laughs> about the holidays because I know some people shop early, shop often, and <laughs> companies are coming at us. I, I see it and I feel it. I feel it in weird ways and I know everybody's hurting because of COVID and finances and budgets being what they are and I'm still figuring out how I'm doing my no buy and so really the only thing I've been picking up are just sketchbooks because I feel like I have I have enough I have enough supplies that even if I run out of one specific color I can make shift it with something else so and I feel like at this point I probably have enough sketchbooks I just need to make sure that with the remaining charcoal products I'm picking up that I have enough sketchbooks that can handle mixed media and watercolor elements because I purchased something new and exciting and unique and it's not out yet so when that comes out I will post that video and we will have chats and I'll do um, swatches and kind of talk about some of these things but I'm really interested in these companies that are curating and putting together for Christmas these limited edition, special edition, anniversary edition products that I don't, I don't know that that's, I don't know. I, I have all these thoughts and feelings and opinions on it and I feel like, like with me personally, they're missing, I'm not their target audience. So Schmincke does a lot of watercolor limited editions and right now I think they're doing a collaboration with Jackson's which is an art supply store out of the United Kingdom and while that's really cool and amazing I'm not seeing I, I want to see <laughs> stuff for the betterment of artists I want to see things that have really good color combinations thoughtful combinations, more light, fast, unique color solutions versus, hey, look at this tin, it comes in pink. Don't get me wrong, I love pink. I love all the colors. I love them all for different reasons, for different purposes. I mean, sometimes I really don't care for pink, but like, I get it. Sometimes you've, you've got a pink and, and for a while there, pink was the it color. Um, but I'm not on its face, like I'm not storing my stuff in a display case. So to make a really cool limited edition product that it's, it's all about the tin, who is that for? I'm not creating with the tin. I'm not watercoloring with the tin. I store it with other tins so you can't even see the cover of it. And then I open it up when I use it, so I'm literally not enjoying it then or appreciating the color of the tin while I'm using it, and I'm not while I'm storing it. So is it just when I'm buying it I'm supposed to appreciate this unique color combination of tin? I'm not sure because I know some companies are doing like vintage recycled tins. They're like, hey, this is a, a one and done. This is a tin I found, you know, at a state sale, a thrift shop sale, whatever. What do you think? You can buy just this one and it's one of a kind. That's for collectors. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of handmade companies sort of go this route and it creates kind of a, a fear of missing out, hurry up, pressure to buy. We only have so many, but that actually makes me want to buy it less. 
I, I want a product that was thoughtfully created, that was light fats tested on the paper that I use, not on blue wool or not on something for only a couple months that I can't trust to actually have that light fast rating. I want stuff that I can, you know, I can believe in and go, yeah, that, that makes absolute sense that you're creating this really new, unique product. There's nothing else like it, or this is in used with conjunction of this and that seems more inclusive. I want more thoughtfully curated things versus, you know, a company going, hey, it's our 10th anniversary. We're now adding stripes. Like, oh, oh okay, you, you could add stripes. Like, I totally picked up the Kyoto 60th anniversary little sketchbook, but the only reason was because I'd never even heard of that before. I didn't even know that was their 60th anniversary product. And it had little gold animals. I'll link that video showing what those actually are. Um, and I draw on them with colored pencils. They really have an interesting sheen to the paper. But I'm just not, I guess I'm just not feeling what these companies are, like if they really, really want my money, and obviously they do. I mean, you look at a company like Blackwing Pencils, and they're literally banking on the fact that collectors need limited edition stuff. Well, I picked up a package of them because I'd never used a Blackwing pencil before, and that ferrule makes it very top heavy. It's not comfortable when it's this length, when it's a brand new pencil. Because of the top heavy weight, I'm not used to it. I don't find them comfortable. And I bought a box of 12 to try, and I've been gifting them to people <laughs> because I just, I don't find them comfortable. Um, and that, again, that's, is it better, is it preference? That's just my personal preference um, for my drawing and like how many hours I dedicate to drawing by hand a day and stuff. So instead of some of these companies coming up with like, hey, look, we designed this in gold and it used to be in silver, I would rather see them come up with something like, hey, we figured out that even though this is a hue, it's two pigments, it's actually more light fast. So here is a collection of watercolors where you don't mix them together, you use them side by side. They're, they're already in their little mixes. They're already a combination that's more light fast. You don't need to, you know, understand to have a huge in-depth thing of color theory. You can just use them straight from the pan to the paper. Very simple. And like that, that would make more sense. Um, I know, pearlescence just became super, super popular, you know, and the neon, I've talked about the trouble with neon, but these things just aren't made to last and they're not made for commissions. I don't know what they're made for and I want to buy products that I can give this to somebody and they can hang it anywhere in their house and I don't have to worry about the blues not staying blue. Like that's, that's disappointing. Um, I, I want to see, you know, if you're coming out with a really cool product, don't even make it limited edition. Keep it all year round because you believe in your product so much you can keep it forever. It can be a thing that everyone has access to that maybe you even have sales because you recognize, hey, COVID has hit a lot of people in the wallets. And right now they could use a little art therapy at a budget price. Right now they could use a new hobby. They can use these things and sort of have an easier time. We don't have to nickel and dime them quite so hard. I don't know. I just, I want to see a more careful curation of products and things that actually have the customer in mind. Like we value you and your dollar so much that we've put together this, this thing that's better than the last thing we had and we're gonna keep it around. You know, if you want people to 
have really cool tins and just create really cool tins. You can buy really cool tins on Amazon. Like there are companies that just do tins now and made it a thing because they realized there was a niche market for that or people who want to have smaller little tins for travel and pocket and backpack. I just feel like com companies aren't targeting me. <laughs> You're not getting my money and I have money to burn because I'm doing a no buy for an entire year and so I really need to get it all out of my system but I'm not finding anything I want to buy and they're like look look some like Schmeeky's doing those semi-precious gemstone like they have lapis lazuli you can now buy it in a tube for a limited time I don't need any more aquamarine I don't what I need is a company to come out with better formulas that are more light fast like that would be awesome can we do some of those things I don't know I don't know what the solution is. I would love to know these companies' different light fast testing processes. I wish they made that more available. All right, I will talk to you all tomorrow and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Bye.